that it makes you think you can. <laughs> Jesus. 
In this passage of scripture, Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. And he stops in Jericho. His preaching and teaching about the gift of salvation has fueled his feelings and concerns <coughs> about Jerusalem and for Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Bible tells us in Luke 13 that Jesus grieved about the city of Jerusalem. Yes. God's city. A city that symbolized Jews all over the world. And Jews from all over the world visited Jerusalem. But Jerusalem was controlled by the Roman government. And the Roman government had a history, a profound history, of rejecting God and his prophets. Mm -hmm. So in this passage, we see Jesus on his way to Jerusalem. And he stops in Jericho. And he encounters a wealthy tax collector named Zacchaeus. Let's look at this man, Zacchaeus. The Bible says that he was a chief tax collector. That means that he did more than just collecting taxes. He was good at what he did. That means that there were people who worked, no doubt, under his supervision. And probably, I think it would be intelligent to believe that some of the trainees that he had trained to collect taxes probably learned how to cheat folks too. <laughs> the Bible tells us that he had gotten wealthy from gouging folks and cheating them at tax time. And if you study scripture, you'll find that Zacchaeus had amassed riches and wealth just by cheating some of his fellow Jews. It's important to note that Zacchaeus was a Jew himself. As it were tax collectors in Jesus' day, most of them were Jewish. And they worked for the Roman government, collecting taxes from their Jewish brothers and sisters and chief them out of their hard earned money. But the Jews who did not work for the government or those who did not like the Roman government considered all Jewish tax collectors as traitors and turncoats. Right. Mm -hmm. So all the Jews hated tax collectors. Mm -hmm. And if you study the word, you'll find that the Roman government was evil, corrupt, and made it a practice of overcharging citizens yeah. themselves. Yeah. So again, Zacchaeus was trained to cheat folks mm -hmm. out of their taxes. You ever been cheated out of your taxes? Oh, oh, Amen. Every year. The Bible tells us that Zacchaeus <laughs> was short in stature. Uh -huh. He was a short person, didn't he? Zacchaeus did not even know what salvation was. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. 
So what was his reason? For wanting to see Jesus. Let's look at his profile. He was a chief. He was rich. He was short. So he may have had
stop him from accomplishing his mission. Right. And that was to see yeah. Jesus. Right. Yeah. 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 And encourage somebody today yeah. to persevere like Zacchaeus did. Yeah. This little cheek, <laughs> this little hick, yeah. this little evil man, uh, this little rich, rich. wealthy, evil, cheating <laughs> hick. Break that, break that. Yes. to see Jesus yes. and the Lord reward him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Encourage somebody. Yes. Someone to persevere in matters that concern Jesus and knowing who he is. Yes. So Zacchaeus and his perseverance, he, he runs ahead of the crowd mm -hmm. and climbs a sycamore fig tree. Not only did he want to be ahead of the crowd, but he wanted to be above the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. I look at this text and I said, this man went out on a limb <laughs> to see who Jesus was. Yeah. This man wanted to see who Jesus was, not so much at first so that his life would be changed, but just to see who was all this talk, who is this guy with all this talk that's going around the country, what is he all about? Zacchaeus went out on a limb and the Lord rewarded him yes. with a changed life. Yes. And not only a changed life, but eternal life. Amen. 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 Yes. Salvation came to Zacchaeus' house because he persevered just off of a whim of wanting to see God. Mm -hmm. But he went out on a limb. Mm -hmm. And there's no amount of wealth that is equal no amount. The Bible says in verse 5 that when Jesus reaches the spot, <laughs> then he looked up and spoke to Zacchaeus. Now, now let's put a pen in it right quick here. Look at the foreknowledge of God. He's on his way to Jerusalem. During his earthly ministry, He's grieving over Jerusalem, mm -hmm. God's city. Amen. But he stops in Jericho, mm -hmm. and he passes along a route beneath a sycamore tree. Okay. And he looks up, nothing planned. Mm -hmm. oh, God is so powerful, he doesn't have to plan. Yes. All right. Amen. And he calls this cheat, this by man. Uh -huh. But he didn't call him a cheater. Uh -huh. He didn't call him a short person. Uh -huh. well, no, he, didn't. Well. <laughs> he called him Zacchaeus. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he gave him a command to come down. Yes, sir. Come down immediately. Uh -huh. I'm going to stay at your house today. Uh -huh. Jesus called him by name. I'm going to encourage somebody by telling them that Jesus knows your name. Yes. He knows who you are. Yes. And he will always know where you are. Yes. And he'll know where to find you. Yes. And there's a trust in you for you to be touched. That's a wonderful thing. Isn't it? He's going to be a 
in the house of a sinner. When I read that scripture, I thought they must be Christian. <laughs> because sometimes yes, sir. people uh -oh. yes, themselves as Christian uh -oh. can be so mean. Right. Right. I can see it. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, Zach Hayes, we bunch of us are going to lunch. I don't want you to come up because we have some questions for you. <laughs> yeah, we heard that you had talked to this man named Jesus. Yes. And you told him that you were giving half of your <laughs> half of what you have to the poor. We were also told that you said <laughs> yeah. that you were taking anything from anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And that you would give right, them right. four times yeah. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. That's testimony time. Yeah. Yeah. Classes at breakfast, 
And he said, oh, hey man, this is what he's saying to my cousin. I heard your cousin, her boyfriend was a Kentucky Fried Chicken eating preacher now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I've never passed myself off as a bad person uh -huh. or a dangerous person. But there were some things I didn't like how folks talked to me right. uh -huh. or about me. Yeah. And we said, I feel that energy coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But when you know Jesus, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. there is a temperance factor mm -hmm. that will be governing for you. Mm -hmm. And it kind of governs you when you hold up. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And as I was talking to my cousin, he says, So let's just don't talk about him. And I said, Listen, man. I said, I want you to think about the life we live. Yeah. And I want you to think about what he said. Mm -hmm. I said, what he said really was the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I like Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I, mean, I don't like the connotation behind all that. Right. I said, but he really didn't say anything back. <laughs> and it was then that my cousin said, Man, you don't even sound the same. Wow. Yes, oh, it was my, since I met Jesus' testimony, I said, hey, hey, man, man. There's, there's some things that's happening with me now. Yes, sir. There's some things that I used to want to say <laughs> that I don't want to say no more. Right. And it was then that he stopped me and said, Do you still curse? I said, not as much as we used to. He said, do you know how to say it? I said, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I said, I just don't have know how to say it. Amen. 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 It's good to have a sense I met Jesus. And it's not a bragging testimony, it's a true testimony. Yeah. I eat what I need to be. Come on, sir. Since I met Jesus, I realize that. Yeah. But since I met him, I know I'm not what I need. Amen. And I'm glad. Yeah. Our testimony is to help people who are struggling, yeah. like when we were struggling.